Moselle Brown, the third suspect in the beating death of Eugene Malov. His charges here, felony murder, murder and robbery or murder of the New Hampshire scientist. Malov, who was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. Hey. A new age of space exploration has begun. This is a really exciting new era for space. This is a big vision. But big things start small, and this is how it starts. Welcome to the dawn of a new space age. Three of the world's most successful entrepreneurs are putting billions of dollars on the line to launch a revolution in space travel. But this time, it's not just for astronauts. So just imagine a world where people have equal access to space. It is adventure and it is fun, but it's also important. What we're doing is the first step of something big. These bold ambitions are fueled by the belief that space travel is necessary for our survival. The overarching goal is to make life multiplanetary. We need to do that to solve the problems here on Earth. We're going back to the moon and we're going to Mars. I mean, you gotta pinch yourself like, hey, is this even real? Byron Trubia, accused of killing his teacher, Todd Henry, taught special ed when he was stabbed to death on campus. Alvin Brooks is also charged with robbery and murder of an 83-year-old woman, Deanie Logan. Dominique Moore, charged with the murder of 80-year-old Dr. Craig Cullen Tarzano. Byron Reed and Javon Lee, both convicted felons, stole his laptop. Shore chased after them, but was hit and killed by the getaway car. Shore Zhang was one of the Bay Area's best and brightest. Colleagues say he was an outstanding researcher with PhDs in philosophy and physics. Charged 28-year-old Yannick Benda Ogo with second-degree murder. The 22-year-old university student was one of those attacked near the library, and so are five others, including a high school teacher and a single mother. A young woman in her 20s was killed in the attack. 